Welcome back. Today I'm going to be building this little darling. It's the Lego video range and this is the Candy Castle stage. Set number is 4311. This particular one retails in the UK at $24.99 and has 344 pieces. It's about seven pence per piece. So that's the front of the box. It looks really cute. I like the little bear look at the top here. Nothing on the bottom, nothing really on the side. A little bit of artwork there for it. On the top of the box, it shows you the two figures that you get with it, which is the candy ballerina and the blueberry guitarist. Oh, ha, 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 ha. So on the back of the box, it shows you that looks very like a beatbox on the top there, but that looks like the, the back of the stage. And it goes through the app information. Perfectly honest, I haven't downloaded the app. I haven't played with the app. Um, I'm not real interested in it. Unless you really want me to uh, download it and have a go and tell you what I think. I don't think that's going to happen somehow. Oh, naughty cable. That's the cable off my camera. So, three bags of bits. Love the mint green base plate colour. I wonder what sort of me at the moment. I'm really going for girly colours. Oh, no stickers. So this is the booklet and it shows you the stage, two figures that you get. In fact, it's video and you've got a download. Yeah, not playing them games. So yeah, it confirms the three bags. Flip through. You can see there, fairly standard build. I'm actually really looking forward to this. I really do like the video range. I don't know why. I just really like it. Tried to avoid it, but it wasn't to be. And then at the back, it shows all the different bits and pieces. I'm guessing most of these are what show up actually in the app, or it's just showing you how things work. We'll find out when I've built it. And then showing you the app on the back and the various uh, video beatboxes. There were six in the first wave and in the first wave there were also 12 standalone figures. And then there were two in this wave, which are those two there. And there we are, that's your parts list, kit list, set list, however you want to think of it. Brick separator, really? Like I don't have enough in my collection. And yeah, I can confirm. There he is. Angry orange brick separator. I probably need it. It's me. I always make at least one mistake in a build. So 344 pieces. That's got to be at least an hour, hasn't it? I would have thought. I'm not the world's quickest builder. So I'm going to go away, get this built, and then I'll come back show you the features on it and let you know what I think about the Candy Castle stage. So there we go, I've got that one built. Like I said, this is only a quick build, it actually only took 45 minutes. So first up, we'll look at the actual figures. So you've got the uh, little blueberry guitarist his pink guitar. I'll just take that out of his hand so you can actually see the body print. You can see he's got a purple jacket and tie on. I don't know if it shows but the head is sort of a solid blue and then a transparent blue over the top of it so his ears are transparent and he does look vaguely transparent. The leg pieces are very definitely transparent and then on the back of his jacket he's got the uh, music notes there. I'll give him his guitar back. Oops, today is it? 
popping on the random piece. And then the other thing, figure, of course, is the candy ballerina. The big pink swishy hair and the uh, little separate tutu piece. I remember being uh, overawed by that in the assembly square because that piece is in there. And she's got a little pink microphone on the front of the outfit, just like a little lace up and a bow for her top. And on the back, just a little bit of detailing on the top. The legs, she's got a little footprint, and then on the base of the legs, the little um, ties for her ballerina shoes, but nothing on the sides or the back. So she's quite a cute little figure. You get 16 tiles in the set, and two of them are specific to this set, which are these two here. And then you also get the little stand, which if you've got any of the beatboxes, you'll recognise that straight away as being out of the beatbox. But you can fit the tiles on there, and then the other two are here. And they're just randomised. I don't really tend to pay attention to which tiles I get with which set, to be honest. So they're just randomised. In fact, I might be able to put the spares there. Yeah. So the whole idea of these is you can put your figure on there, use the app, and it reads the images on the tiles, and that creates different effects, different dance moves, etc. I say not played with the app and then we come to the stage itself so at the front here you've got a little platform with just a jumper tile on so you can put a figure there got jumper tiles here so you can put figures up here a little tiny drum set which is quite cute the little lights here and then this top piece rotates so you can have either the brown version or the yellow version these spin so you can either have the pink or the teal i do like that um, these are the iridescent pieces and these pieces here also spin round I only spin one way because they've constructed just to stop them spinning all the way around, presumably to stop people breaking it. So I'll put it back that way. So that's one side, which is sort of the sweet little girly side, if you will, because of the colours. And then if you turn it, why do I have to do that? Because I just spun that round. Um, and then if you look at this side, got like the chocolate fountain so it makes more sense to me to have him facing this way just makes more sense get the figure in there got a little dressing table so i'm guessing this is supposed to be backstage because they've got a little snack there a drink something in a bottle so yeah that's the um candy castle stage set number four three triple one retails for 24.99 in the uk a bit that way then we can see the figures you'd have mo uh retails for 24.99 in the uk about seven pence a piece uh for for the size of the set it's actually pretty cute it's quite detailed it was fun to build it like i say 45 minutes to uh knock it together overall probably Four out of five on that one. There's just something missing. I can't put my finger on what it is, but there's something not quite, if that makes sense. But yeah, I real I do generally like it as part of the video series. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.